What's good, good people? Walter in the house, TSF, Alley Jack, Cashmere, Kentucky Sports TV. Man, what's good? What's good? We got the heavy hitters in the building tonight, I see. Lisa O in the building. Lightning M in the house, what's good? Of course, we got the wonderful, lovely lady, Lauren, to keep these YouTube streets safe. We're in trouble. I think I've never seen the fan base so divided and getting worse every day. I don't think the worst has happened yet. Please tell me I'm wrong. Divided as far as players, coaches, the coaches search. What you thinking about in particular? Queen Lady Lachelle in the building. Definitely hit the like button, good people. Rumors for the build. David, what's popping? What's popping? 
Yeah, please hit those likes. Get those likes up in here. Uh, Heard will hide the best he can. <laughs> or he'll be out. <laughs> he knows this is do or die. Good evening, Jocelyn, representing the Cardinal Bird in the building. They can always jump out. That's a fact. Street credit, what up, what up? Jared in the building. Yes, up. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. How about now? How about now? How how's the echo now? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna catch all the way up. How's the sound now? Give me a give me a yes or no. Give me a thumbs up or not. Josh, I trust. <laughs> Louisville versus LSU round two with the ladies. Catching up, catching up. Okay, okay. Nolan has spoken. That's good to hear. Michelle, where you been at? Chester in the building. William Smith, what's good? Hi, Tina. I'm coming to see you soon. Greg strolling the building. Okay, good sound. Okay, we good. We good. I prefer a strong X and O coach. Fun offense, strong defense. I don't worry much about the recruiting now because of NIL. Yeah, yeah, I can play that game. I can definitely play that game. You're at 90%, so this volume is perfect. Okay, okay. Big things coming. All right, right. Yeah, we got the package ready. Florida for a month. Okay. Billy McNichol in the building. What's good? Y'all know when Billy McNichol shows up? You know what time it is. Let's see what we're working with. Oh yeah, I did see that. That was that was so disappointing. That was so disappointing to see Haley do that. Yeah, it. Listen, you think you wore out Jordan S? Thank you for representing the Cardinal Bird, by the way. You think you wore out Jordan S? Ah. Ooh. Okay, this is a great question. Uh, let me see. When when you're talking to Marcus about new coach, there's a side of me that would say, okay, as a player, you know what what do I think Louisville players are going to need for the fans to really enjoy watching Louisville play? And then you think. Yeah, like what are the fans going to need to see on the sideline? Um, you're definitely gonna have to have an active coach. <laughs> you're definitely gonna have to have an active coach on the sideline. It's, it's gonna have to be a high energy guy. I don't think I don't think it'll work with the cool with the cool hand Luke <laughs> approach with the fans i mean i mean and, and again all this is like aesthetic stuff all this is like surface stuff <laughs> yeah people say they just want to win till you bring in chris mack who was winning but but everybody still talk crap about all, all his uh 
his pack line style and his offense was passing around the perimeter so much. And I was there. <laughs> I I actually lived it. No, Chris, look around the look around the NCAA. Don't yeah, guys, do yourself a favor. Any good player or any player on any team is any kind of disgruntled. Go look at the number of Division One people who hit the portal in basketball last year and add at least 30% to that. With growing NIL and one-year transfers, whatever the number was last year, I, I could almost guarantee there's going to be a 20, 22 to 28% jump. Probably on the 28% jump side. Mm-hmm. Curtis, Caleb, Karan, Trey. I think that's it. Catching up, catching up. Good evening, Gary Crump. <laughs> Intensity is big time. Intensity is very big. My coach is to be considered, so I'm just sitting on the sidelines watching to see. Um, you were talking about what the Eastern the, uh, Tanner? Did you bring up the Eastern coach? Um, no, he. I don't know if I'm. I, huh. Word is he has an idea what he wants to do. <laughs> that's that's the best I can say. The word is he has an idea in motion. Haley went four for eighteen with five turnovers last season against Middle Tennessee. But talk greasy about it. That was a bad look. That was a bad. That was a terrible look. That was a terrible look. Ross, what's good? Long time no see. Hope all is well. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> like the Northwest version of, of Marcus Maven. <laughs> Thank you, Keisha. <laughs> is it too soon for Kellen Sampson? That's pretty funny. Two player. Oh, oh, stop it. Don't be mean. <laughs> Look, I don't know. People were pretty mad. I, I guess she's she's open season now, huh? Is Louisville already reaching out to transfers or or okay, okay. Um not no, but your coach is recruiting. Your coach that will be on your sideline is recruiting right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You were gonna try to pick a pick a fight on his way out the door, so you <laughs> so you can feel justified. I mean, you can feel justified either way, but yeah, of course, there's some some fight picking on the way out the door. Porter will be crazy with transfer. We'll be able to go um because the coach was fired. So yeah, I know, I know. It's it's gonna be yeah, it's gonna be mass mass transferring. Oh, right. 75% different. 75 to 80. Um, but li listen, Rick Patino said the same thing. Rick Patino said next year is looking like we're gonna have three returning players. We're gonna have to be looking at like seven people. Come on, y'all. We all we all eat a little better when our bread gets right. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, but but he should see his options. Nothing wrong with checking options. Mm-hmm. <laughs> when does WKU play? Um, Tyler's going on my pen. I think Sky JJ will go. Hershey and Man United. Um. Uh, Like, yeah, there, there's not a, a situation. Um, where it is, he's not even in the portal, he's just out. <laughs> oh, red state, give me at, give me at the end of the glass. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Like I said, 80, 70, 80 percent. Um, cash will or will. Um, question. Um, I think it should, but only up to a certain point. Slam dunk guys, cash is cash is not a factor, but I don't really I don't really see slam dunks. Yeah, that's that's a fact. Chris Patterson in the building finally made it back. <laughs> Hold on. I think at least four of our current Will remain. You got to give names. You got to give reasons. We we got to see on that one. Keep an eye on Rocket Watch for Oakland, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, uh, me and Steve were going through the roster the other night. Paul Thomas in the building representing the Cardinal Bird. If I missed anybody, I'm sorry. So the search is uh, becoming more clear yet on who's next. It is not. In my opinion, it is not. It is not becoming more clear, but I think people are just enjoying the clicks of talking about it. Um, you think of, of, of becoming a coach or somewhat established. Um, you you take a shot. You 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 take a shot at the most established and. You don't overpay for a good coach. You overpay for a Hall of Fame type coach. And then you then you then you start going for value. I don't I don't think you do middle of the tier coach at all. Friday too. Okay, that's that's the WKU. Yeah, yeah. Hersey Hersey been dealing with his uh, injury. Yes. So so you would take Leroy. You would take those two over the field. I'd probably take the field. I'd probably take the field. I think I'd take the field. <laughs> it was money line. I, I need to change that name. I've been money line maven for too long on Twitter. And now that my son is the NFL Players, Asso uh, uh, Players Association president, my son is president under NFL PA. It's probably not a good look. For his dad to have money line Maven as his name. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to change that tonight. <laughs> now that I think about it, Moneyline Maven's probably not the best look. <laughs> Why go? You just you just in here starting stuff now. <laughs> you just 
He was just starting it. Mmm. Mmm. And it's like, what would Dusty May's confidence level be about recruiting better, better talent with the Louisville brand? Right now, it's like, what, what waters is he recruiting in currently? How different will his recruiting tactics change at Louisville? You know what I'm saying? Because what you don't want is a money grab coach. He, he couldn't, he couldn't, he couldn't. Here's the problem, in my opinion. Coach was never going to, he was never going to put Trey White on the bench. And he was just like, Curtis couldn't do no right. And he had to play perfect to stay on the court or damn near perfect. You know, that, that confidence thing was, it was a bad, it was a bad mixture of the, the substitution pattern between him, him and Trey, in my opinion. So he, he was in a doghouse he couldn't get out of. Do you think the new coach will continue to uh, work with former players? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, they'll definitely let him know. Um, yeah, yeah. Like, to me, the former players, they, they're not like, they won't have any issue. Uh, uh, with any new coaches, anything like that. So yeah, I think there'll definitely be a good relationship. Yeah, that yeah, that's scary. That part's scary, because every once the word gets out that Louisville is a walking paycheck, the the, the sharks come out. Hmm. I don't. Uh, that wasn't me, player. <laughs> New coach by April 1st. What's today's date? What's today's date? The 18th, the 19th, April 1st. Hmm. Yeah, I think you'll know by April 1st. Oh man. Listen, we listen, we can we can pick up a night where I'll put the link public. Y'all tell me it ain't no thing. Is Scott Drew a Hall of Fame coach? I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, I think he's a a really really good coach. I, I when I watch Baylor, I think they got good players that, that that work hard. I, I think he I think he has a good, I think he has a good situation at Baylor. You know, it's kind of like you know how you watch um, what's my boy at Clemson? Um, who am I thinking of? Clemson. Uh, Dabo, Dabo Sweeney. Like, I think it's just he got the right fit around him. And it's hard to get, you know, just that 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 sweet spot, you know, as as well as he is, as he has. Um I I worry, you know, you know, about the about him just he built that thing to fit him perfectly. And I don't know if he can come to Louisville and be able to fit it. But again, I think he's a Excellent, excellent, excellent basketball coach. So I would not be like disappointed, you know, at all.
then there's that. <laughs> uh, Nolan's high value. Uh, he's high value on the recruiting trail. His reputation to to work with the families is impeccable. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, in anybody that see this Nolan situation, they just know that's just that's just a what a what a firing looks like. That's what a firing sounds like. Uh, you find you you know rumors about people not getting along, assistant coaches not getting along. That ha- that has happened with every single firing we've seen. <laughs> I mean, the people that I like, the people that I like, aren't even on are, like their pipe dreams. Like I love, uh, of course, you love the Yukon. Like you got to watch up close, y'all. You got to watch a lot of these guys up close, and I, I don't even like spouting off these names because. First of all, they're not being talked about. Second of all, I'm not on the searching committee. <laughs> but like I said, I I can give you a bunch. Like I said, I love Dan Hurley. I love Mark Few. I love Shaka Smart. Like Hurley Few and Shaka Smart would be my coaches. <laughs> Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Hundred air at best. Hundred air at best. Millionaire, maybe that's Jalen. <laughs> that ain't got nothing to do with me. Boy, your boy Maven checked the check. <laughs> Damn, white gold. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, white gold. Listen, that was some dude. Listen, oh, let me go back up. To, hold on. Hold on, let me go. That's some doomsday talk. That's some doomsday talk up in here. He just said Drew isn't leaving and Dusty going to the Big Ten. We're in trouble, guys and gals. We should go. Damn, white dog. Damn. What has this channel not taught you anything? That's a couple minutes of chairing the shame. That's 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 a little bit negative for the for this environment. Okay. Just a couple just a couple seconds in the chair of shame. <laughs> you just got a you just got a couple seconds in the chair. Um yeah, that those were my slam dunks. Few, few, Hurley, Shaka Smart. Donovan option, I would not think so. What's the latest on Nolan? Um, I did talk to Nolan. Leave it at that. <laughs> I I no, I did have a good conversation with Nolan. Long Beach coach get fired in season one conference tournament. Now they're in the dance. It looks so. Uh, 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 Kevin Keats was getting fired. <laughs> if I take if I take the field, I must have info. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. No, I mean, just like I said, there, again, I hate saying this to y'all, but if 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 I have to wait five days, I, I mean, I really hate saying this. It, this this pains me to say. If I have to wait a couple of days to talk about a candidate, I can't even publicly support a candidate because there's this bloodlust to to not like this candidate because 
either like I said, either I want some attention or I have a new podcast or I have something where I want to I want to try to bring Marcus down by attacking his candidate. I don't even want to do that that coach a disservice. I don't even want to do the public a disservice by letting a letting a Twitter conversation even begin. Because the moment I give a name, even if I know who it's going to be, or if I don't know who it's going to be, the moment I give a name, that name's under attack. I've done this too many years. But here's the problem. Right, right, right. If the world knows you took a shot at the at the homecoming queen and knows you got rejected by the homecoming queen, it screws up the entire dynamic with all the rest of the chicks in the school. <laughs> you, you know that, Gary Krupp. <laughs> Yes, James. Yes, that is too much to ask. You want exciting basketball, winning, and clean with no drama? Yes, that's too much to ask for. Did you forget this is Louisville? <laughs> There's drama when there is no drama. Chris Mack politely said, hey, I don't like how the interviews are going. I don't like the questions that y'all are asking. I don't like the narratives that the media is trying to push. So after games, I'm going to select two players to go out to the podium. You can no longer go into my locker room, go try to find the angriest kid in the room and ask him some questions and twist around his words. Chris Matt made a a a wonderful coaching decision that turned him into the biggest piece of shit in the media you ever seen. Do y'all remember that? Do y'all even remember that when Chris Matt closed the locker room to reporters? Do y'all remember how he got treated for doing that? Does anybody remember that? Facts. <laughs> I don't know. Look, look, these, these NIL kids might be might be making some some heavy money too. The, uh, you mean the guys from Louisville? Um, everybody played out of position. Everybody played in their pro potential positions, except for Tyler. Tyler was the only one that was in his true fit position. I mean, well, 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 technically, Brandon Brandon played in his true college position. But you remember, they were trying to keep Brandon kind of at the four. That's what that's what uh, uh, Dennis Evans was supposed to be the five. So he could have Brandon at the four or the three. They had Trey White out there like a two. He's not a two. So I can't can, can guard any wings. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I do agree with that 100%. <laughs> Utah State, Drake, and Charleston coach team is good, if not better. The fascination is with is doing more with less. BGM cards in the building, what's good? Right. Two weeks. Yeah, within two weeks. I did hear that.
they're not gonna trust they're not gonna trust the guy that that they didn't that they're not gonna they've lost a lot of trust here what's good what's good <laughs> The question was asked earlier, would I take Dusty May or or do I think it'll be Dusty May or Scott Drew or the field? And my answer is the field. (laughs) Yeah, I'm not saying, uh, listen, I'm not saying it'll be like official, but I think you'll know. (laughs) <laughs> I, I didn't start early. I I started what twenty eight. I think I started twenty eight twenty nine. Yeah, that 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 part I'm really hoping. Yeah, I I didn't hear what he said on on Twitter, but I talked to him. I talked to him recently. And I'm pretty sure what he said to me is what he said publicly. <laughs> listen, listen. Was was 55 pissed about that or what? Yeah. Yeah, and if you listen, any news that comes out on April Fool is going to kill everybody. Random coach to look at, Mike Hopkins. Okay. Ooh, this is not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. Lauren, can you set a reminder? For potential therapy Thursdays. For potential therapy Thursdays. So, yeah, set a reminder. We'll bounce that idea off a little bit. No, stay. I then there's that. There's there's that part. Hold on, I'm, I'm I'm trying to catch up a little bit. Six percent more right there. Ugh. Ooh. Listen. You take, you take, you you play by what gets rewarded. You play by what gets rewarded. You don't think you don't think Trey White took terrible shots? You, you see how many turnovers Trey White had on the floor? Curtis Williams Jr. is a better ball handler than Trey White. So it, I mean, if you think Curtis is useless, you got to say Trey's useless, and you have to have them go back and forth. Till one of them starts taking care of the ball, taking better shots. But it wasn't it wasn't a battle. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When he was at La Lu, uh, a lot of a lot of people wanted him. Again, I, I hate I hate doing that. I hate doing that. I can't do that. It'll, you know how we're we're in here talking tonight about the stability of the program. Right now, my voice could destabilize <laughs> the not destabilize the coaching hire, but it could destabilize the fan base before they even have a chance to appreciate the hire. Yeah, hot take, hot take Twitter and hot take radio is just too out of control right now. That's a good start. Jay Wright and Nolan. (laughs) 
Well, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Ooh. Think Curtis and Caleb give Mac a look wherever he ends up. They were his recruits. I don't. I don't, but that's good thinking. I mean, my kids pay me 10%. Right, right. Come, come to Louisville and, and yeah, right. And I'll extort 10% of what you make in NIL. Hmm. There is going to be a coach that try to do that. Damn, I'm way too far behind. What do you, I'm gonna have to go look. <laughs> Fair enough. Ohio State promoted an interim coach. Oh, well, look, does that does that pull Dusty May off? <laughs> Two minutes of soft you gave me. Yeah, is see that 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 wasn't terrible. Um, if Josh Hurd wants to run higher. Hey, choke the life out of your defensive minded. Who would that be though? Who who would you go with on who like what choke your life out coach would you who chokes the life out on defense? I mean look <laughs> the the guy who chokes the life out of the defense, the fans will go crazy over. It'll be Bob Huggins. <laughs> oh, oh, you got to be allowed to hire. Chris Beard is a choke the life out of. Look, isn't it ironic? Chris Beard and Bob Huggins are the defenses that choke the life out of people. Yeah, yeah. Stackhouse had that one wild out moment and he, can't, he ain't recovered from that. <laughs> What's going on, girl? <laughs> what you doing? You, you you in Clarksville causing trouble? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I stay away from the negative. We need to hear from Reese. We will. I talked to Reese the other day, too. Richard Patino, is that the one you're going for? So you and Steve going little Rick. <laughs> Do you think that would bring more fans together or be more divisive? Ooh. Ooh. Josh handles he handles it on his own pretty good. I mean he he gets information, he digs for information, but he he'll he'll get the credit for this hire. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, he was done. Oh, okay, you want you the most? <laughs> yeah, yeah, three, three, three will get you. Three will get you the chair of shame really quick. Or it'll put you on the plank. Um, even with the injuries to the Houston guys. Ooh. Very low. Very low. <laughs> Very low. 
Uh, baggage. Who who's the baggage guy? Insiders do pop up there. Yeah, inside. Listen, I welcome channels. I love channels. I love growing channels. But you don't have to be an insider. Get good information. Get good stat. Good good. Take your time on on the video. Watch the games. Don't just read Jody. It's too many people that read Jody, read the message boards, and now they're the insider. That that gets on my nerves. I can't. I mean, I want them to be out. There should be a thousand Louisville channels. That's fine. I don't care. Look, I'll compete too <laughs> to be the best channel. But but you get my point. I want there to be a lot of Louisville opinions and a lot of that. But you know it. The insider thing is like, that just kills me. That part, I don't like. And you're never late, Kelly. Don't, don't ever say that. This is Louisville. No, no, look, look, what did I miss? <laughs> <laughs> what did I miss? What did I miss? Cheers to Richard and Kevin Keys. It's fat. Look at Miles Kelly in the building. Miles Kelly, would you sleep? <laughs> I mean, it, yeah. That's... Giving Will Wade a chance. There might be a better, a bigger chance than people think. <laughs> um. You said the Griff highlights? I think I got one right here. Damn, look at Griff. Damn, Griff. Damn, Griff. Damn, Griff was crazy. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, I might have got that confused. Hold on. Oh, oh, shit, I thought that was Griff. Oh, hold on. Hold on. You mean to tell me that wasn't Griff, y'all? That wasn't Griff? That, wait a minute. That had to be Griff. Oh, Jesus Christ. Was that not Griff? Oh, man. <laughs> you telling me that ain't Griff? No. Shut up. Man, this grainy footage, I can't tell nowadays. I can't. God damn. My language. I'm sorry, y'all. Part of my language. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that got to be Griff. No, who else? Who else jumped like that in a Louisville uniform? Who else you seen jump like that in a Louisville uniform if that ain't Griff? I don't know. Look, I ain't seen nothing like that. Shaheen Holloway was never a thing. Should be the great coach. He'll make his you look look, he'll make a name. <laughs> ah, James, fair enough. E dub. Kelly Bird, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh i don't uh, listen i think he listen if if this not the right hire and he fires somebody in two years i don't think he's gonna be on the line i don't think he'll be on the line i don't think his job will be on the line i think it's easy to say that to kind of put the you know to put the heat on him but I think he's doing a great job around the program. And I don't think there's a lot of like slam dunk hires. A, a young Ant Edwards. <laughs> I don't know, Slam Tana. <laughs> Bridgman. 
Jerome Harmon. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. Did they? That's awesome. That's what Tom George used to do. Tom George called the media. <laughs> he called a cup. Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, I, I, I mean, not like that. I mean, look, look. I mean, they got they got good legs and everything, but that's still a little different. I don't care what you say. <laughs> I don't care what you say. Oh God, that's still a little different. Come on now. Come on now. Some of these names y'all just throwing around now. Y'all doing me, y'all doing me a disservice. <laughs> Some of y'all doing me a disservice. Come on, y'all. <laughs> Wait. I mean, come on, y'all. I, I, listen, I'm not saying these guys ain't got no hops. I'm just saying when the rubber meets the road, your boy Maven is confident. <laughs> oh. oh, oh, that's just that, that's just deep trolling. Pressure the media. Cornelius Holden, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Cornelius Holden, maybe. A 6'10 high jumper. Oh, that's just technique. Look, high, high jumper in track and field, that's just all technique. <laughs> Okay, no, I didn't know that. Yeah, we gotta get some shout outs tomorrow then. Yeah, the, uh, championship. You win championship, you you getting on it. <laughs> it what it, is EJ in here? It's it's funny. If if Eric Johnson was in here trolling. That would be a shame because I always see E dub. <laughs> or or I, I I might not even recognize his name if he put Eric Johnson on there. <laughs> uh, I guess it just depends on how bad the hire he is. Uh yeah, I, I, I agree with that part. Is there an unknown coach? Bobby Tech, come on now. Come on. I mean, I mean, he could, I mean, he's 16, he's 69, you know, he's, he's, he could technically be up higher, maybe. <laughs> Another top coach. D Chess says, give me Richard Patino. Is is that more Rick related, or 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 Patino gets the shot? You think Luke Whitehead could jump like that? <sighs> Holloway will not fit this media. Oof. Yeah, you're probably right about that. Uh, uh, T will was T will silly. Everybody's getting paid. Yeah, we're dri yeah, we're driving up the coaching market. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. Was that Eric? That might have been Eric in there. You might be right. You might be right. Kyle Kirk. Oh, come on, man. Did you put Kyle Kirk over me? Listen, there is that part. That's that's the thing. I mean, money's still money. Fair enough. 
Ali Jack, I saw you made a reference earlier, and I'm like, that's a good pull. Oh, he's a great, he's a great coach. Look like Bozak. <laughs> Oh, yeah. And he can get up quick, too. Calvin Sampson or Bruce Pearl? I, I, Sampson, I just think his age. His age, and he lives in Texas, and Turner was 60. Okay, fair enough. Okay. Um. Yeah, I will check it out. Okay, y'all, I'll be here tomorrow night. Todd came in late with 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 Alvin Sims, but I'm still just uh, come on, like Todd. I'm, I'm, he's a lot stronger than me. I mean, damn, he's 250 pounds. He can move people in the air. I'm not defending myself against these dunkers. Y'all done back me up into a corner. Y'all enjoy yourselves tonight. We'll be.